So you have shown homeowners how to repoint a brick wall. It's actually quite doable. I mean, right. they've had good success with sure. it. Matching the mortar, however, is where the finesse comes in. That's the tricky part, right. As you can see, most of it is gray yep. on the outside. Uh, if we sent a homeowner to, say, a hardware store or one of the big box stores, they can pick up a bag of premixed, and they're going to get very close. All right. But if they want to go all the way and get an exact match, how do they go about that? Exactly. Well, the first thing we would do is extract a piece of this mortar, mm -hmm. and then we'd break it down, and we'd be able to tell how much lime they've used, how much Portland they've used, and how much sand is used. And, and those are the three three ingredients in all mortar, just those three. Exactly. And the only time that's going to vary is when we add lime to lighten up the color. Yep. So lime, which is almost white. Right. More lime means a lighter mortar. More Portland means a darker mortar. Exactly. And the only thing you're going to have to watch is when you add more Portland or add more lime, you're manipulating the strength of the product. Okay. So you've got two buckets right here. What am I looking at? Are these already mixed? The, these are pre-mixed. This is uh, the gray. The darker gray, so that's heavy Portland. Yep. And as this is lighter, you can tell that's more lime. Okay. So then what's the process? Just trial and error? The, it's, it's really basically trial and error, exactly. Uh, we have sand for both of these mixes. Okay. So you can just dump that into that one. Be careful because it'll puff up on oh, you. Oh, boy. Yeah. Now you tell me. Right. right, right sorry right, about right, that. All up. right. Okay. All right. So mix that up, Kevin. Now, don't be afraid to turn that over as much as you can. We don't want to see individual material at this point, so you got to keep mixing until you just see that one color. I'm looking pretty good. I'm looking pretty good, too. Okay, but you can already see the difference, Kevin. Yeah, I'm a lot lighter, even yep. with the sand mixed See that? Right, exactly. So let's start the water. All right, I'll put you in charge of the water. All right. Those. Now, obviously, you start with a little bit of water because you can't take it out. There you go. Put a little bit in mine. Ow. I'll hold you, Kev. That's good. Start with that. You're going to look for that oatmeal consistency. All right, I'm looking good. How am I looking? You're looking good as well. So let's go up top. And I'm going to show you a little trick. Whoa, okay. There you go. Why are we doing this on a piece so, of wood? Well, right away, Kevin, you can see the color difference, right? Yes, I'm okay. much lighter. Right, exactly. So, again, heavy lime, heavy Portland, that's the color differentiation. I can kind of pull back, and as this little part dries out... So let me pull mine back. Pull yourself back. Yep, that's, that's good, too. So as soon as this dries out, it's going to get us close to what we're going to look at when it is dry. Okay, Kevin, these are actually looking pretty good right, right now. Let's kind of compare it to our sample. All right, put yours up there. All right, right there. yep, right there. So now this to that, and then this to that, what does your eye see? I know that uh, Portland cement, before it cures, actually has a, a green to it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm starting to see some green in my dried up mix. And I'm starting to see a little bit of that green that turns to gray here. Yeah. So I think I'm going pretty well. Now I'm looking at you, and right away I can see that gray is really starting to get light. We know that this mix will get lighter as weathering continues. So you are leaning towards... Don't I yeah. knew it. it Sorry. Set up. All right. So a homeowner, you got it in maybe the first try. A homeowner right. might try three or 13, but they can get there eventually. Yes. Um, but that's if we have gray mortar, right. and I've seen red mortars and a pinkish and even a yellowish. What, right. What's that about? Anytime you see something like that, there's been a dye added to the mortar. Oh. And at that point, all you do is you go down to your local brickyard. They'll have a mortar color kit, just like we have right here. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And as you can see, a million different swatches for you to take out all and right. compare to your joint. So if I find a sample that I think is a good match, Am I done? You are done. There's no cure time or anything. That's the dye I go with. That's the dye. Buy a bag of it and mix it or buy pre-mixed? Uh, pre-mixed if you can. Absolutely. That is really good. All right, Mark, thank you. All right, Great Kevin. Information. Thanks. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.